Hey Xavier, this is Ken Bone, and the boys let me know that you're getting married. Well, congratulations. I hope you have a ton of fun at your bachelor party. And, uh, you know, do I have any advice for your wedding? Uh, only this. The, the conventional wisdom is don't go to bed angry. That's bullshit. You and your spouse, uh, sometimes you're going to be angry at each other. And rather than continuing to pick at each other and fight and escalate uh, all night and never get any rest and try to come to a resolution when you're both tired and angry, just realize that you love each other more than you're angry at each other and call it a night, get some sleep, and when you've calmed down, Talk about it the next day. Come to a resolution. You're you're going to fight. You're going to disagree. You're going to get angry. Because you two people that live together, uh, you don't always want the same thing. You don't always have the same goals. But you love each other and you want to make it work. So make sure you don't uh, just keep going and going and going, hoping to get everything resolved in one day and say something that you're going to regret. Because you're better than that, Xavier. And... Uh, you know, you're going to be just fine. My wife and I have been married for uh, 17 years. And uh, yeah, 17 years and a couple weeks now. And I know that when you get to that point, you're going to look back just like I do and think it's the smartest thing you ever did. That's, that's what I feel about it. So congratulations. May the road rise to meet you both. I wish you all the best in your coming marriage. Have a good time tonight and don't talk about what happens afterward. Xavier, Alfonso Ribeiro here. Now, I understand you are getting married. What are you doing, man? No, no, no. I'm, I'm playing. Actually, that's great. Listen, I'm married. I got the greatest wife and kids. Uh, you are going to be a blessed man. Trust me on this one. But uh, you know what? Hope you have a fantastic bachelor party. Don't do nothing stupid to ruin your life. Be smart. Have fun with the boys. But keep it smart. Use your brain. It's the rest of your life. All right, listen, have fun, guys. Happy bachelor party day, I, if that is a day, I guess. What's good now? Badlands Chugs is back. And I want to give a big shout out to you, Xavier Afro Brown. Hey, buddy, how's everything going? Well, my friend, I know things are going good because you are at your bachelor party, man. I hope you're not just sitting in a corner or holding up a wall, man. I want you to be wilding out, man. I want you to be celebrating, man. I want you to be doing it up nice, man. I want you to just be acting crazy, man. Yo, no one can tell you nothing because tonight is your night, bro. All right? So I want you to have Big fun, all right? And enjoy yourself, man. That's what you got to do. And yo, hold on a second. I want to raise this glass in your honor, Xavier, okay? Because I know tomorrow is the big day. So from your boy Badlands Chugs, I just want to say congratulations on the wedding. And may you and your wonderful bride live happily ever after. And this is for you. Enough talk. Let's get it on. Cheers, bro. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So enjoy yourself, buddy, man. Stay awesome. And remember, the next time you watch Badlands Chugs, don't touch that mouse. Xavier, Xavier Afro Brown, my dear friend. I, Iro, greet you. The boys have told me so much about you. I hear that you are getting married. Congratulations, or as we say in the Fire Nation, congratulations. You know, there are reasons each of us are born. Perhaps, just perhaps, you and your intended are each other's reasons. 
I am often asked to give relationship advice to young couples, and I am always most happy to comply. There are three components to a loving and long-lasting relationship. The first is communication. The second is compromise, and the third YT, of course. Uh, speaking of which, I hope you will accept an open invitation to join me for a cup at the Jasmine Dragon in Ba Sing Se. Uh, but tonight is your bachelor party. If you must drink tea tonight, make sure it comes from Long Island. <laughs> I also offer a gift. I, Iroh, by the power vested in me by the Order of the White Lotus, bless your upcoming marriage. I wish you good fortune and a lifetime filled with music, joy, and love. Hey, Xavier, this is Marty Grabstein, the voice of Courage the Cowardly Dog, wanting to wish you tremendous kudos and congrats on your upcoming nuptials. Just wanted to say that to you. Oh, 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 it's, a, it's a Muriel! Xavier's getting married! But Xavier! Xavier Afro Brown is his name! That, that, that sounds like a stage name! I'm just trying to. Oh! we do for love yes indeed Xavier the things we do for love including pledging ourselves for the rest of our lives to one lovely human being that you are indeed doing at this very moment as we speak so I want to just offer you just a little touch of advice one of the best things one of the things I have learned being a married guy myself is that one thing that I believe that people, and in this case, your lady, women, make sure you listen to them. Make sure you listen to her when she speaks. Like, take a moment, let her not only listen to her, but let her know with your eyes, with your expression, that you are listening. You don't have to agree with anything. You don't have to agree with anything, but just make sure you listen, right? I hope the boys who made this all happen, the boys contacted me and uh, made this happen for you. I hope the boys are hearing this as well, and perhaps they can apply this in their own lives. You gotta apply this in your own lives, boys! Anyway, God bless you once again, Xavier. Have a really, really wonderful wedding day and uh, stay in touch. Take care, bye. Xavier, hi. I heard you're getting married to Jasmine. Wow, congratulations. What a fox. The boys wanted me to give you a wee pep talk, you know, as Horizon. So here's what I've got to say. As you know, what's for you, I'll know goodbye you. Which actually means what's meant to be is meant to be. So you've already done it. You did it. You got your woman. You're getting married. And I hope you live happily ever after, you guys. Ain't love grand. Newt. I don't know. I think he's made out of vacuum cleaner parts or something. Hi there. Squidward Q. Tentacles here in triplicate. Lounging about in my SpongeBob Museum of Merchandise, also known as the Squid Cave, also also known as my house. And this video is for Xavier. Xavier, this video was brought to you by the boys. And if you're watching this, this must be your bachelor party. Yay! Here's hoping you got the fire department on speed dial. Also, I'm asked to give you some advice on the institution of marriage, which I liken to the relationship between Squidward and SpongeBob. I order the food, he cooks the food, I deliver the food. We do that for 40 years, then we die. Also, remember, marriage does not mean you will live forever. It'll just seem that way. All kidding aside though, we wish you and Jasmine, great name by the way, sounds like a keeper to me, 
a happy and long marriage. And remember, mayonnaise is not an instrument. However, beans are very musical. You can do a solo with that stuff. Usually at 3 a.m. when the other one's asleep. <laughs> Good luck to the two of you in the future. Xavier is Gary Anthony Williams, a.k.a. <clears throat> Uncle Rocker. Daddy is correct, Uncle Rocker. Now, the boys on told me that you is about to get married. And I'm going to do a little bit of a marriage poem for you. Right off the dome, Xavier. Right off the dome. Ain't none of this written down. It's right off the dome. <clears throat> He was a man around town, that Xavier Brown. But now his black ass about to settle down. For reasons which we all do know, they call his nappy ass Afro. He has been the Spanish name Xavier for all his life. And now he's about to take a ball-busting wife. Lord, I don't know who she is. That's a natural fact. But I sure as hell hope that she ain't black. Get you a nice white woman, it is so true that nobody can love you like a white woman do. They smell like vanilla from head to toe. And they smell like cinnamon in other places, you know. But it don't matter, you damn African clown. It don't matter who you about to marry, Xavier Brown. It don't matter, that is for damn sure. And do not give your child a name like Afro. That is the biggest curse that I have ever seen. No matter if your wife's going to be yellow or brown or white or green, she's still going to be a brown because that's your last name. Get ready for a big ball busting in the marriage game. <laughs> that's right. I made it up for you, Xavier Brown. All off the dome. All off the dome. I hope you have a good marriage. And if you have a white woman that you marry in, I hope you have the most beautiful white blue eyed children that don't have no Negro qualities in them all. And if you do marry a colored woman, well, I, I cannot, I cannot in good faith, I cannot in good faith, let me say for a third time, I cannot in good faith allow you to do that. I will be at your wedding and when they say, does anybody have your guy right here? His uncle Rockers, no relation. I will not allow him to marry some African jungle woman who's going to make the kitchen smell like fried up bacon and bologna meat every morning. Oh, hell, forget about it. It's your marriage. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. You always do that anyway. Well, I'm afraid I have to say so long. It's been good doing this poem, which is almost like a very slow song. And I'll tell everybody, anybody come around, stay away from that bad-ass Afro Brown, because he done done something that's going to change his life. He about to find eternal bliss with a beautiful-ass wife. Later, from your Uncle Ruckus, no relation, nigga. Xavier Afro Brown. Hmm, why does that name sound so suspiciously familiar? Maybe because your secret screen name is X-rated for you. What do you mean by X-rated for you? Xavier. Chris Hansen here of Hansen vs. Predators to catch a predator and have a seat with Chris Hansen. Now, I'm going to need you to have a seat right over there. I've been going through some transcripts and, well, I have some questions and some concerns. You know, Xavier, you should know this, but we're still climbing out of a pandemic. You're still supposed to be socially distant, flattening the curve, not going online and visiting suspicious sites and making arrangements for a bachelor party. Bachelor party? What do you mean by bachelor party? Mm, it's a sort of behavior that could lead you to meet me in a dark kitchen someplace. The boys to throw your bail. How are the boys going to do that? They're going to be at the bachelor party. All kinds of hijinks going on. So behave yourself. Don't screw up the wedding. Don't let your best men screw up the wedding. Just play some cards and have a beer. I'll be watching and I'll see you soon on the TV and my YouTube channel with new predator investigations. Have a seat with Chris Hansen. Don't be in them. Just watch them. In the meantime, I'll be watching you. So stay safe, stay healthy, and stay out of trouble at this cockamamie bachelor party, won't you? I mean it. <laughs>